ready to order? Do you have anything that's really special? Not according to my high school guidance counselor. Hi. As new owner, I am sucking it. Just put it on. You can't tell an Asian he made a mistake. He'll go in the back and throw himself on a sword. I'm thinking we should take the first step in our new cupcake business by writing Max's Homemade Cupcakes up on the specials board. No, I can't have my name up there. Everyone I owe money to thinks I live in Seattle. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. I know they're the best you could afford. <laughs> Not really. The good ones are on my bed. <laughs> Max, that oven is so hot. Could you do me a favor and open the back door? We've known each other two days, and you're already asking for back door? <laughs> Max, I've been thinking about how you completely overreacted to your name up on the specials board. Do you think it's a fear of success? I am too poor to have a fear of success. <laughs> At Wharton Business School, we learned that every new venture can bring up a certain amount of fear. Is there any way to do a Yelp review of Wharton Business School? <laughs> Morning! It's a beautiful day. These shades belong town. From now on, think of me as a vampire without all the annoying marketing. Thank you so much for taking me to shower at your babysitting job. Well, I didn't have much of a choice. You pulled the pillow knife on me. I'll just introduce myself to your boss and tell her what happened. Look, I don't want Peach to know you were here. This is a job, not a meet and greet. Got it. You get in there, you take a five minute shower, clean it up and go. Fine, I'll hide in the hallway till she's gone. No need, just follow me in. She never really looks at me. Peach found blonde hairs in her bed and thought her husband was cheating on her. Which he is, but that's not the point. <laughs> you almost ruined a perfectly happy fake marriage and there are innocent children involved. Big ass horse charging it everywhere you don't belong. I thought I was doing you a favor. In spite of what you say about the sounds I heard coming from your bedroom the other night, I know you're upset. I was masturbating. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> really? Because today you kind of landed on your front. We're done. After work tonight, I'll get my things and be gone. Ooh, you're gonna load up your dream-filled wheelie bag and ride away on Sir Muds a lot? <laughs> Go ahead. Be as negative as you want, because you're in charge of your own future again. Oh, joke's on you. I don't have a future. <laughs> she signed this paper. <laughs> I, drunk Caroline, am a... What's that word? Punk-ass hoe. <laughs> Thanks. I, drunk Caroline, am a punk ass hoe. I promise to keep my big mouth shut and replace all of Max's poor people chips. I will no longer meddle in her relation chips. You laughed about that until you threw up. Oh, and if you're wondering, no, the puke stains will not void this contract. <laughs>